Hi everyone, welcome to the third episode of XCA Biotcast, a series of bite-sized tips and tricks that can be implemented into any of your project. In this episode, we're going to implement network monitor to detect network reachability status in an app using Apple native NW Path Monitor. Then we will create a Shift UI modifier to display network status as a banner on top of any view. Now let me show you a quick demo of this. So here, as you can see, I have the app runs on my iPhone. This is a sample app. It's showing the network is currently connected. So here I can simply uh, enable the airplane mode. And there you go. We have the banner, no internet connection. And let me toggle it back on. Okay, as you can see, it detects the connection status using the network monitor that we will build. And that's it for this quick demo. And basically, I have also created an SPM package for this. So links to the SPM package is provided at the description below. You can use it if you want to implement this into your Swift UI application. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin to code. Okay, so first, let's begin by creating a C file. And let's give it a name of network monitor. Okay, so we are going to use observer fashion framework as we are going to use this in Swift UI best application. So let's import observation and let's create a macro observable and then we went to a class network monitor first let's declare a private let give it a name of monitor and we need to import the network framework from ios from apple okay and yeah let's just initialize it with the nw path monitor and then in the initializer, sorry, we are not going to create initializer yet. Ignore the Xcode code completion. First, we are going to create a dispatch queue to process this monitoring. So I'm just going to create a serial queue. And yeah, let's just give it the name recommended by Xcode code completion. And next, I'm going to create a private var, okay, path status. So this will be the actual status of the network. So there are three required connections, satisfied and unsatisfied. So let's just assign it with the initial value of unsatisfied, okay. And next one, we are going to create a computed property based on the path status. First one is reachable. So here, the connection is reachable only if the path status is satisfied. Okay. Continuing on, we're going to create a computed property for the status text that will be shown. Okay. And let's switch path status. For the satisfied, we're going to return connected. Okay, and for the other, I'm just going to use default case, return no internet connection. Okay, and continuing, next, let's create a private fun start monitoring. Okay, so here we can assign a closure which is the path update handler, a handler that receives network path updates. Okay, so this will be the one that got invoked whenever a network uh, path got updated. Okay, when the connection change. So here, let's make the self weak. And now we need to update our path status, but we need to do it in the main thread. So let's click on task. So it'll be main actor. And I want to move this weak self to this task. Okay. And let's just assign self dot path status as path dot status. Okay. So there are other API that you can also use from this path. Okay. 
so if you want to check whether the connection is using which interface you can use this use uses interface type okay so there are several cellular 4g 5g other wifi wired ethernet okay so we won't be needing this but just want to let you know if you want to access those as well okay and after that we just need to start passing the dispatch queue okay let's pass our serial queue that we have created and next one is private phone stop monitoring for this we just going to invoke monitor.cancel let's also invoke this in the day init okay to make sure it's getting cancelled when this observable class got the initialize from the memory okay that's it for the network monitor observable very simple right now we need to uh, display this as a banner using CFUI UI modifier on any view but before that I forget one thing actually here in the initializer in it okay we need to invoke this start monitoring okay that's it now let's go to the content view so in here we just need to like add some modifier network status banner okay and then it will be just automatically displayed whenever the network status get updated on top of this view okay it should be very simple to create so let's go create a new c file given the name of network status banner modifier in here we just need to import cfui okay and let's create a strap for the view modifier network status banner modifier view modifier and in here let's create a state private far network monitor okay so this is an observable class you can just initialize this and next one is the show banner which we will use to animate we, we can use to animate later when we want to show and add the banner okay and now we need to implement this body content and return the opaque view okay let's begin the implementation so first one let's create declare a c stack and then let's pass the content and after the content we're going to check if the show banner is true we're going to display a v stack okay and then inside this v stack we're going to use a h tag first one we want to show the icon okay the icon so this one is going to be based on the network monitor is reachable so if it is reachable we're going to show the sf symbol of network if not we're going to use network dot slash okay and let's set the foreground color to white and set the image scale to large and after the image we want to show the text and here we can simply use network monitor that status text set the foreground color to white as well and set the font to headline looks good and then after this we are going to declare this several modifier for this first one is set the foreground color of this edge tag to white okay and let's set the padding to all the edges and for the background it's going to be based on this network monitor is reachable if it is reachable it's connected we just saw in the green else we are going to show the red okay color dot green color dot red and let's set the corner radius for this container corner radius to 32 and let's add a bit of shadow shadow radius 8 it's too big maybe 5 is enough and then let's add an on tap gesture so when the user 
tap this banner we want to just dismiss this banner immediately okay. so we're just going to set it to false okay and continuing on we're going to add a transition animation to this to make it a bit smooth we're going to move edge from the top okay and let's get the animation we're going to use the is in out and the value we want to use this value it's going to be based on the show banner state okay and let's add a spacer and finally let's add a padding to the vista okay yes this looks good now we need to continue okay so in here we need to add a on change modifier of network monitor is reachable and we need to pass the closure ignore this we don't also need this and inside the closure we can simply set the show banner to true okay and let's add a timer using this patch Q main async after two seconds and provide a closure that will execute in here we just invoke with animation triggering the show banner to false to dismiss it okay so after two seconds it will basically dismiss the banner okay all looks good we have created this modifier view modifier now as simple as just create an extension for the cvui view and then create this network network status banner return an opaque view and we can simply initialize self modifier passing the networks what's the name network status banner modifier we need to initialize this okay that's it we have created the banner using the network monitor under the hood as a state okay now we just need to integrate this into the main content view so it's very simple just comment this we have created this that's it it's done we have created the banner and one thing is if you want to you don't want to use the banner you just want to show it in your ui you can initialize this network monitor as a state in your cvi view okay and maybe you can simply just create a view like this i'm just going to copy paste this to save time okay so this will just show our circle if it is reachable show the green and realize red and show the text okay and that's it it's very very simple to implement and when you want to test this i really recommend you to use uh, your real devices your iphone okay okay now yeah the app runs connected toggle the airplane mode nice no internet connection toggle it back on okay connected that's it for this third episode of XCA Bytecast. So we have successfully built a network reachability monitor that we have integrated directly with CFUI as a modifier and also as a view if you want, okay? That's it for the Bytecast episode three. Like the video if you like, subscribe if you haven't. I hope this really helps you as well. And until the next one, let's keep on being a lifelong learner and goodbye.